this project. Today, I'm going to share with you a project which I just completed recently. This new project is a phone holder project and I'm sure uh, most of us have used phone holders like this in our cars and I found them a little bit cumbersome. Um, it takes up space. Uh, most of these uh, phone holders are mounted onto the glass or even the top of the dashboard and I thought I um, probably need a better solution so that I can actually keep the dashboard neat and tidy. So my main objective for having this phone holder is basically to be used when I'm driving and when I'm using Google Maps um, while driving. I don't normally look at the GPS all the time but basically when um, at points where I stop and I just need some place where I can put my phone where I can just glance into the um, phone to just make sure that I'm at the right um, location and doing my driving. So I have designed a new phone holder which is basically using one of the unused space slots in the car which is normally used to put radios and CD players and I've designed it such a way that it is uh, compact and flat and it can be opened up and stored away even when it's not being used. Then come join me and I'm going to show you how I built the phone holder and how it's being used in my car. So this is a little phone holder that I actually created on 3D printing. Um, so I guess we're gonna try to see if this works. I've taken out the uh, double-sided tape um, backing piece, so I'm gonna put it on in place here. So it's gonna be so many middle like that. Hopefully it works. So this is the first try out prototype. So literally, this is basically something that you put up and you put it down. So this becomes your phone holder. Then what we do is we put the phone here. That's it. So it becomes a phone holder in the car. Or do whatever you want. Then if it's done, you take it up, close it back, and check it in there. Yay! So we'll see how it goes and I'll update you on the outcome. These are the parts for the slim phone holder that I created and as you can see this is the original version first pass design of the solution it consists of one two three four five six six parts which is held together with uh, two screws at the top one screw for the top grip and two more screws for the bottom grip um, based on my first usage of phone holder i've realized that phone holder works fine only that i did not have a limiting feature for the grip because it can actually come up when it reaches the end and also i find this distance a bit too short so i did a first revision where i extended this length of the slider and added a slotted hole here at the side which is used together with this limiting feature so this will slide and limits the edge as the edge slides down over here based on our initial tryout we found that this is a weak spot on this two side of the lower section and i've then made some improvement to the original design so i've made this portion a little bit thicker and finally finalized this design from the original this part has been revised twice so this is the final one this part has also been revised twice and this part remained the same and this part we have also made a little bit of revision just to put a little uh, feature where you can put your finger in then we will inherit this part and this part because this part works fine for now and I didn't want to reprint out additional part this is inside so you can't really see it. and what I'll do to this part I'm going to just do a black color spray externally then I can assemble this whole piece together again. Once I've finished spraying this and I'll show you how I assemble this um, phone holder and just to take note the, the spring mechanism I've included um, two options to use actual spring and also in this case I just use a rubber band so I create the rubber band around here where you can install a rubber band and you can actually create the grip to be adjusted for the phone. Now I'm going to do a spray of this part then once it's dried and okay and ready to assemble I'll show you how I assemble all the parts together with all the screws here the design of this um, outer cover consists of two um, slots which is actually the guide rails for the mechanism inside so in order for us to spray the external I need to close up this roof and I'm going to just use some masking tape to protect the roof so that you will not clog up the internals I'm just going to cover this 
and also on the other side like that okay so because this is going to be on the other side so no one can actually see the bottom face what I'm going to do I'm just going to put extra tape at the top just to make it a bit neat I'm just going to spray around the exterior with the acrylic paint We leave the first coat to dry We now apply the second coat leave the second coat to dry now that the um, paint is dry I can remove the tape and we can now assemble this phone holder now that the bottom painted section is dry we can now mount and assemble the parts Firstly, we're going to mount the carriage and slider section. We use the replace the washer, followed by the screw. Then followed by the nut. I could actually design a captive nut um, approach, but I think that I will have that in the next uh, design change so for now this is fine then i'll insert onto the other side the washer and the Tighten up and also tighten up on the other side. And I tighten both sides. Okay, so this is now. Now we're going to mount the hooking, the top section hooking part. So we're going to put two washers onto the left and the right side. This is a bit narrow spaced, tight fit. So you just need to slowly push the washer into place to the gaps. Put it in line. So it goes to the other side. Then I'm going to place the nut on one end. Then I'll insert the long screw on the other end. So we need to screw on to the other side and we just tighten the bit so this will be movable like this. Now we're going to insert the sliding section for the lower grip like that. Then we're going to secure it 
in place with the rubber band so we're going to roll the rubber band a little bit then we're going to hook it to the bottom here and we're going to insert into the slot here like that okay so this is basically the spring action that will hold the will grip the bottom part of your mobile phone then we have this lower grip Similarly, we will insert two washers, left and right. We are going to put in two of nuts into this captive nut space. Make sure. I'm going to push in the nut. Do it in both for the left and the right side. We will then use two screws on the left. Let's make sure the Washer is in line. Similarly, on the other side. And both screws are in. And this is how it looks like. The bottom grip and the upper grip and the gripping mechanism. At this current moment, uh, there's no limiting feature here which will only come in when this is put in place we will put this in place after we assemble this moving section onto the housing so we're going to insert this from the back this way and align both left and right side on sliding feature to the groove like this like that okay so this basically slides out in and out like that now we're going to secure this limiting feature here in place Slide it all the way in like that and we're going to use these two self tapping screws on the left and the right. Okay, so basically this forms a securing bar over the spring. If I were to use the spring, and this kind of moment it's actually securing the rubber bands in place. Then it also has a limiting feature on the ends of this gliding section so this will actually prevent it from extending too far at the same time also it actually helps to prevent this section to drop out okay so this is basically what it is and to use it uh, we will actually um, stick it onto the inner part of the compartment in the car with a double-sided tape then to use we will basically pull this out bring this down flip up the top flip up the bottom then pull this to secure the phone okay so we're going to fix it in the car we take some videos and test it out and see if this uh, solution works well finally i've got all the fixed in then this is the um the phone holder and i'm going to now mount the phone holder onto where it's supposed to be in my car Remove the double sided tape Oops. and see, I'm gonna place this right in the middle, and there you go. To use, I'm going to have to pull this out, extend it down, bring up the securing tab at the top, bottom securing tab, then put the phone there. And oops, and done. So now I can actually go to Google Map 
and I can just use my Google Map. Turn on. Oops. Yeah, so basically that's what is it. And once done, I just need to close, close this, close this, and keep it. And that's it. So this is the final solution, black color, um, slim phone holder, which fits most of the phone, including my wife's phone and my daughter's phone. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you from Uncle Salis Project. Bye-bye.